felt like it was a calling to me. I really did. I feel like that working with young people, uh, especially in, in the area of athletics, was a calling. And I think most of the coaches, you know, they they don't realize that uh, sometimes that, you know, of course, the good Lord knows, you know, what you're going to be doing before you ever know. I coach because I thought I could make a difference in the young men's lives that I, I dealt with. And a lot of young coaches are X's and O's and they still think they're players. And it may take a, time for, a little time for them to see that they really are teachers. And I have always thought that if your player left your high school and all he knew how to do was to pass and run and kick and tackle, you're a failure. And no matter how many games you won, if you don't, if he doesn't leave there with something that he can carry with him the rest of his life, like goal setting and things of that sort, then, then you had not done your job. And, and coaches in Mississippi, for the most part, are great at doing that. And I, I feel like I, my job is not so much the X's and O's, but to maximize that potential, to, to get it out of it. Because I know when I, was, when I was their age, I didn't think I could run one more sprint. And, and I couldn't do this, or I couldn't do that. And as I look back, I could have. And I'm hoping that I can kind of pull every bit of that out of them. Um, but do it in a way that, um, you know, is I put my arm around them, tell them, great job, but you can do a little bit more. Had a lot of success coaching and, and all, and uh, had a lot of success winning championships. But at the same time, I'm more proud of, of, uh, of uh, impact. I feel like I've impacted a lot of lives in a positive way. <laughs> Surprisingly, the ultimate payoff for most Mississippi high school...